Hi, I'm Alan Levine, a professor in the Department of Government. Do you believe in absolute truth? I find that few students today believe in absolute truth, but they all absolutely believe in human rights. Are those rights not true? On what basis are they held? Do they just exist by agreement, either within the country or from the UN or something like that? If so, they can just as easily be undone. Is that an adequate basis to hold our most fundamental truth? These are the questions that I ask on the first day of my individual freedom versus authority course, and the course tries to systematically explore them. The central part of the course is on America, in which we read the fundamental statement of our principles in the Declaration of Independence and friendly critics in Tocqueville and Mill, and we explore the tensions between equality and liberty. The final part of the course deals with opposite critiques of liberalism. Marx from the left, Nietzsche from the right. Marx the real world justification of communism, Nietzsche the real world justification of fascism. And Nietzsche asks, Nietzsche asserts that there is no such thing as absolute truth. All truth claims are bunk, someone just trying to get over on you, and you should do what you will, regardless of the consequences on others. The first part of our course, however, begin, is with Plato. And Plato says there is absolute moral truth, and unless you know it, you can't live a good life for yourself or be useful to others. It's quite the intellectual journey that we go on, and I look forward to taking it with you.